All right, hi. Um, section 3, gas cutting welding. Fundamentals of gas cutting and welding. Uh, section 3, gas cutting. The equipment and the accessory for the oxy of gas cutting is the same, the various, uh, same as the oxy uh, gas welding, except for the cutting of the torch cutting and attachment instead of the welding torch. This main, the, the main difference between cutting torch and the welding torch is that the cutting torch is the additional tube of the high pressure oxygen along with the cutting tip of the nozzle tip provided with the center hole through the jet pressure oxygen pass the mix of oxygen and silicone pass have holes around the certain hole, center holes for the uh, preheating flame. The number of orifices oxygen uh, acetylene flames range from six to six, depending on the purpose of of the um, tip used. The torch, can, the cutting torch, is controlled as the trigger lever is operated. The cutting torch is furnished with the interchangeable tips. The cutting steel is not less than for less than quarter inch, doesn't more than twelve inches in thickness. All right, your cutting torch. You see a ninety degree head with a pressure gas tipping and a gas tube, and it's hitting. The high pressure cutting oxygen, the cu cutting oxygen valve lever, the torch head, torch handle, the oxygen needle valve, the acetylene needle valve, the oxygen hose connection, acetylene um, hose connection, also a 70 degree head. Um, Operating cutting equipment, Set, setting up the uh, oxygen and silicone equipment, preparing the cutting must be done carefully and systematically to avoid current costly mistakes. Refer to below the step-by-step -step instruction before an attempt is made to light the torch. Stack, secure the cylinders that can be accidentally knocked over. A good way to do this is either by putting them in the corner next to a vertical column, then secure the um, um, piece of line. After securing the cylinders, remove the protective caps. Two, standing one side of the crack, either cylinder valve slightly, then they immediately close the valve that blows any of the dirt or other foreign material out of the cylinder valve nozzle. Do not bleed the fuel gas in, into a confined area because it is it may ignite. Ensure the valves are closed and wipe out the connection with the clean cloth. Connect the fuel gas regulator and the fuel gas cylinder with the oxygen regulator to the oxygen cylinder. cylinder. Use the gang wrench to snug the connection nuts um, sufficiently to avoid leaks. Back up the regulator, um, screw the prevent, preventive damage to the regulator, engage to open the cylinder very, very valve slowly, open the fuel gas valves only one half of the turn, the oxygen valve all the way. Some of the gas cylinders have the hand wheel for the open and fuel gas valves, while the others require the use of the gang wrench or a T-handled wrench. Leave the wrench in place for the cylinder in use in use for the fuel gas bottles can be turned over the quickly for an emergency. Read the high pressure gauge for the check of the contents of each cylinder. Connect the red hose of the fuel gas regulator with the green hose to the oxygen regulator. Note, no, no, notice the left hand threads on the fuel gas connections. All right, to blow uh, out oxygen, ha um, uh, turn the regulator screw with adjust the pressure back to 2 to 5 PSI, um, p PSI gallons. Uh, after the hose is pure, turn the screws back to again, out again counterclockwise to shut off the oxygen. Do the same for the fuel gas hose. Do, do it only in a well-ventilated place where free from the sparks and flames and other possible sources of ignition. Seven, connect the hose from the, to the torch. The red fuel gas hose connected to the um, connection gland and the needle valve marked fuel and the green oxygen hose connected to the fuel connection gland the needle valve marked oxy Torch of the valves closed with the turn both regulators screw clockwise to test the hose connection for the leaks. If none, are, if none are found, the turn of the regulator screws counterclockwise, drain the hose, open the torch valves, select the correcting cutting tip, then install with the cutting torch head, tighten them, assembly ha handled, assembly by hand, and then hand tighten them with a gang wrench. 10. Adjust the working pressure of fuel gas pressure is adjusted with the opening torch not off the turn. The fuel gas regulator screw clockwise. Adjust the regulated work pressure needle with the other tip size. Then close the torch needle valve. To adjust the acetylene gas, you should set the gauge pressure of the torch valve. Close the adjusting of the oxygen work pressure. You should open the oxygen in torch needle valve and proceed in the same manner, adjusting the fuel gas pressure. 11. In lighting the torch, adjusting the flame, always follow the manufacturer's direction with the particular metal of the torch being used and necessary because the procedure verifies varies somewhat in the different type of the torches. In some cases, even the different metals may be with the same manufacturer in general procedure. Using a lighting a torch that is first open the torch oxygen needle valve, a small amount, and the torch of the fuel gas needle valve slightly more, depending upon the type of the torch. The mixture of oxygen and fuel gas comes from the torch tip, is then lit in means of a spark igniting stationary pilot flame and adjust the preheating with the neutral.
12. Hold the torch with the cutting oxygen lever and the trigger can be operated with the one hand or the, on the other hand. Steady to maintain the position of the torch head of the work. We'll keep the flame at a 90 degree angle from the, into the work of the direction of the travel. The inner cone of the preheating flame should be at least 1 16th of an inch or 1.6 millimeters above the end of the line of the cut. Then hold the position until the spot has been raised to the bright red heat and then slowly open the cutting oxygen valve. 13. Cutting is initiated, he he heating the edge of the leading of the face is cutting the shape as such as a round rod is sealed with the ignition and temperature approximately bright red of the heat. Using the preheat jets only, use the separate cutting oxygen valve to release the oxygen from the central jet. Oxygen chemical combines with the iron or furious metal instantly oxidizes the iron to a molten iron oxide proceed, producing the cut. The cut has been started properly. Showering, shower sparks will fall without the opposite side of the work. Move the torch at the speed of which will allow the cutting and continue preparation of the work. A good cut will clean and narrow. When cutting billets, round bars, and heavy sections of time, the gases are saved if and birds are raised to chisel at the point of the, which where the cutting is started. The small portion of the head cut, uh, heat will quickly cutting in the start. Immediately, the welding rod can be used and start cutting heavy section when used in starting of the rod. Never caution. Never use matches to light a torch. The length requires the bringing of the hand to close the tip of the, uh, close of the tip. Accumulated gases may envelope the hand and uh, open ignition, resulting in severe burn. Also, never light the torch from the hot metal. Cutting mild carbon steel. The cut mild carbon steel oxytillion uh, cutting torch. You should adjust the preheating flames to neutral. Then hold the torch perpendicular with the well in the inner cones of the preheating flames about 1 16th above the end of the line to cut. They refer to the figure below. Um, hold the torch in the position until the spot of the heating is bright red. Open the cutting neutral valve and valve cutting valve oxygen valve slowly by steadily pressing down on the cutting valve lever. All right, this shows the um, position of the torch tip and starting the cut. It says preheat the bright head red before starting cut. Short gap, preheat the flames, preheating oxygen, cutting oxygen glass at 90 degrees angle. When cutting is stored correctly, show where the sparks will fall with the opposite side of the work, indicating the flame has been pierced the metal. Move the cutting torch, torch forward and along the line just enough the flame continue the penetration of work completely. If you made a cut properly, you will, gain, will get a clean, narrow cut with looks almost like it's made by Saul. A good cut is characterized by the very small neg negligible, um, negligible drag. The torch is moved a bit rapidly. The metal at the bottom does not get sufficient heat to get oxidized and cut. The hence the larger drag. When the torch is moved, the always preheated um, metal is burnt all, all away from the oxygen. Jet largely amount of slag is generated. Direction of the travel, 1.5 to 3.0 millimeters drag and uncut curve from the drag figure. Curve. The narrow um, curve is the narrow slit and form of the metal cutting process. The ideal curve is narrow gap, the short edge of the either side of the work piece, overheating the work piece, uh, and the thus meddling the causing the run rounding edge. All right, cutting the thickness of steel. Steel greater than one eighth of an inch can be cut with the holding of the torch. So the tip is almost vertical surface material. If the right hand, one method of cutting the steel and the start starting at the edge of the plate, move to the right hand, to the left. The left handed people tend to cut to the left or the right. Both uh, directions um, are correct, but you may cut in, in the direction that is more comfortable. You figure below show the progress of cutting in thickness steel. All right, A, B, and C are put practices in cutting thickness, thick in the thickness of the steel. After heating the edge of the steel, du um, du dull, dully cherry red oxygen jet um, all the way by pressuring the cutting cutting lever. As soon as the cutting action starts, move the torch tip at an even rate. Avoid unsteady movement of the torch, prevent the irregular cuts or premature stopping of the cutting action. If you start a quick, quicker or thicker plate, um, you should start at the edge of the metal with the torch angled with the opposite direction of the travel. When the edge of the uh, edge starts to cut, and bring the torch ver vertical position completely to cut the total thickness of the metal. As soon as the cut is, is through the metal, start the moving of the th torch is direct direct the direction of the travel. Two other other methods of starting cuts are used. In in the first method, use um you nick the edge of the metal with a cold chisel at the end of the bottom where the cut, cut is started. But the sh sharp edge of the metal upset the chisel will preheat the oxidizing rapidly under the cutting torch. Allow you to start the cut without proper preheating the entire edge of the plate. In the second method, you will place an inner filler rod with the edge of the thickness of the plate. As you apply with the preheat, the flames, the edge of the plate, the filler rod rapidly reduces the cherry red temperature at the point of the turning the cutting oxygen on. The rod will oxidize and cause the thicker plate to start oxidization. Oxidizing. 
All right, I'm cutting the thin steel. Although gas cutting is more most people useful in thick plates, the sheets of one eighth of an inch or thick or less can be also cut with the process of taking express precaution. The tip side, tip size should also be as small as possible. If the small tips are not available, the tip is inclined to be in an angle of 15 to 20 degrees. Point of the tip of the direction of the torch being traveled, the tilting of the tip, you give preheating flames a chance to heat the metal ahead of the oxygen jet as soon as you show in the figure. If you hold the tip perpendicular to the surface, you decrease the amount of preheated and preheated metal, and adjusting the metal could cut could cold cold could cool the cut enough to prevent smooth cutting action all right the torch position for cutting thin sheets the direction of the movement 15 to 20 degrees common gauge setting cutting for cutting quarter inch material oxygen 30 to 3 30 to 3 35 psi silicon 3 to 9 psi one half inch material oxygen 55 to 85 psi silicon 6 to 12 psi one inch material oxygen 110 to 160 psi silicon 7 to 15 psi or your general cutting info. This is wide variety of cutting tip of the style and sizes available for the suit, the various type of this work. Thickness of the material to get cut, generally a selection of the tip of the cutting oxygen, pressure cutting speed, the preheating of the intensity should be controlled by the producing narrow parallel side curves. Cutting these improperly, improperly made will reduce, um, probably reduce the ragged, ragged, irregular edges adhering slag of the bottom of the plates. Table below the identifies cutting the tip of the numbers, gas pressure, hand cutting speeds used for cutting mild steel up to 12 inches uh, or three um, thick oxygen uh, oxy oxy cutting information all right your plate thickness cutting tip of number size oxygen psi silicon psi and hand cutting speeds um one quarter of an inch has a cutting tip of z t number zero oxygen three 30 psi three silicon psi 16 to 18 per minute inch inches per minute um three eighths of an inch one cutting tip nozzle 30 ox psi ax psi 30 eight, three 14 to 15, 14 to 16.5 um, inches per minute hand cutting one and a half inches cutting tip number one uh, oxygen psi 40 uh, silicon psi 3 12 45.5 three three plates thickness three quarters type cutting tips four two oxygen psi 40 is still the same psi 3 12 to 14.5 inches per hand cutting one inch um cutting tip 2 50 psi uh, oxygen 3 px still the same psi um 8.5 to 11.5 inches hand cut per minute. 11, one and a half is the cutting tip size. Three, oxygen PSI 45, acetylene PSI 3, the 6 to 7.5 inches. Plate number thickness of an inch is two inches. The cutting tip is number four, the oxygen PSI. All right, I'm um, sorry, I had it on mute, but I'm not going to go over it. So just uh, safety precautions, cutting operation. Never use the cutting torch when spark will sparks will be has to sleep. Um, sweeps floor clean, then wet them before cutting. Provide a bucket of water and sand to catch dripping slag. Use fire resistant guards, portions, the screen necessary, and take extra caution when working with grease and dirty, dirty gas atmosphere, preventing explosion. Compete, compete, com, com, keep combustible materials at 35 feet away from cutting operation. Never cut in the, uh, near ventilators. Never use oxygen to dust cut off cutting, cl clothing workpieces. Substitute for compressed air. 
Nine, locate the nearest fire extinguisher before performing any welding or cutting operation. Purge oxygen, oxygen and silicon hoses before lighting torch. Never move a cylinder with the protective caps in place. Wear personal protective equipment. Wear welding gloves, helmet, leather, apron, welding chaps, leather shoes, welding gloves, other personal protective equipment to help prevent welding burns and injury. Make sure that the welding gases, goggles, and face shields are at least number four of the filter lenses. Do not wear clothing made by the synthetic fibers of iron welding. Fast, fastened cylinders do not handle the cylinders roughly. Chain cylinders in any of the upright position of wall or cart when regulators are not in, on cylinders. Keep the safety caps in place. Caps will prevent damage in the cylinder valves. Never use oil on welding equipment. Oil grease can make ignite spontaneously when contacting oxygen. Open cylinder valves that correctly open the valve with the silicone cylinder no more than three-fourths of a turn or, or um, of a turn of a maximum one turn so it can be closed quickly in case of the oxygen. Once they open up the oxygen tank fully when welding um when welding and cutting leave the valve wrench in position. T keep keep the uh tip pointed away from the body. Do not saturate your clothing with oxygen or silicone before when lighting the flame. Keep the tip pointed with the away from the body. Eighteen. Light the flame with the proof lighter using matches. To, to light the torches, bring the fingers to the close of the tip. Set the operating pressure carefully. Never use the silicone at the pressure over 15 psi. Do not leave the work area under the, until the cylinder pressure valves are closed. Make sure the cylinder valves are closed and pressure is relieved from the hoses before leaving the work area. Do not cut con containers and uh, have held flammable materials. 22 store oxygen cylinders away from silicone cylinders, not combustible walls at least 5 feet 5, which should they use in separate cylinders. Application oxygen cutting would, the, would be useful and only with the materials would readily go and get oxidized, oxidized with lower melting points for the metal, so it must be widely used for the um, for, for various metals. Oxygen cutting is not used for the metal, metal materials like aluminum, bronze, stainless steel, and resisting oxidization. Cutting with the high carbon steels, cast iron requires special attention due to the formation of a heated affected zone or has when, where structural uh, transformation occurs. Typical facts about gas cutting. Flame is not intended to melt the metal, but bring it into the ignition temperature. The oxygen flow rate is critical to the little bank. The slow rag cut much produce the wide concave cut. Oxygen lances or other custom-made torches do not have the separate pressures controlled with the cutting oxygen, so the cutting oxygen and pressure must be controlled by using the oxygen regulator. The oxygen cutting pressure should be made the cutting on the tip of the oxygen or if it's consulting the tip of the manufacturing equipment doing that a proper cutting oxygen pressure for the specific cutting tip. The oxygen torches can easily cut through the ferrous materials and excess two inches of oxygen lances are used in scrapping operation cutting thickness and thicker than eight inches th a thermo thermatic lancer is a tool which I rapid oxidation iron to cut through the almost any material Two oxidation iron gas cutting high, uh, highly exothermic at one start one started steel can be cut in a super surprising rate the faster the rate fa far faster than where melted through. At this point, the preheated jets are properly purely assisting the rise of the temperature. We obviously intense glare over the ejected material, even though the proper gozzles. Since the metal mel melted metal flows with the workpiece, the must be in the room at the opposite end of the workpiece to spray the exit, and the possible pierces of the metal are cut on the grate with la lets the metal melt into a far fell free freely to the ground. For oxy, a silicon cutting speed is usually twice as fast as the cutting off of the grinder. Besides the oxy fuel, fuel torch, the light, small, and quietly, it needs very little effort used compared with the cutting off of the grinder, which heavier nose and needles considerable operation exertion, but it may be very vi vi vibrate severely. Cutting off of the grinder is usually thick with a section 5. Gas cutting can be done manually by or by machine. The manually cutting the use of the gas pressure purpose works with the straight line cutting the machine cutting with the torch mounted with the rail. Both rails with the torch can move simultaneously along along with the two mutual perpendicular axes, the horizontal plane with the help of the servo, servo motors, robotic oxy fuel cutters provided with the flexibility to provide almost any shape from large steel bearings the provision to hold more than one torch, though that the large number of the identical pieces can be cut at the same time. Hydrocarbon gases such as propane, butane, liquid petroleum gases are used to, for cutting of scraps to save money at these gases that are far cheaper than the silicone BTUs or BTU base, bases. The right torch injector style, the propane can make a faster and cleaner cutting and much more useful heating and bending of the application for the nexilitane. Note that hydrocarbon gases such as propane, butane, and natural gas are not suitable for welding ferrous metals due to the oxidization characteristics. Section 4. Safe Working Places. Practices.